ECB board member Sabina Lautenschläger has unexpectedly resigned more than two years before the end of her term. The central bank has given no reason for her departure, but Lautenschläger has been one of the strongest opponents of Mario Draghi's latest stimulus drive. Last month, she said a new round of quantitative easing was unnecessary and should be used as a last resort. Roloff Salomons from Kemp and Capital Management is still with us. Roloff, why do you think Lautenschläger, to me, this is one of the biggest mysteries of the day. Why do you think Lautenschläger resigned? It would seem as though she's protesting the renewed uh, bond buying program of the ECB, except uh, wouldn't she be able to do that much better from inside the ECB after Draghi retires? Uh, that's a fair fair point there. I think just taking a step back, this is the third cent Dutch, uh, sorry, the third German central banker which has resigned. It's the second um, public um, resignment, basically, or basically the public view, uh, as far as I see it, uh, against a Draghi. Um, so I think you have to read it in that sense. We had Klaas Knot making comments uh, last week. Now we have Lautenschläger uh, resigning. Uh, we don't have the details yet, but I think it would be fair to assume that she didn't agree. Um, so I, she probably would have been more effective internally, but I think what we're reading is, here and now is there's a bit of mutiny going on at the, at the ECB and people are, uh, don't see that they have a lot of uh, voice internally. So why not step down and save your own credibility? Do you get the impression that markets are listening more closely to the doves or the hawks on the ECB? I think by now markets should be listening to the hawks, um, but for <laughs> all of the last couple of years we've only been listening to Draghi. Mm. Um, Draghi was a master in communication, uh, boxed in the ECB, made statements and then you had to deliver on, the, on those statements, obviously otherwise the markets would be, uh, not be very friendly. Um, but by now I think, and uh, as an economist I kind of agree with that view, uh, you reach the point that monetary policy would be effective for the economy. Lowering rates even further do doesn't, mm. doesn't do the trick anymore. Um, so by publicly saying that uh, and publicly handing in your resignation, you're kind of making that view that we need, we need a new story. We need a new narrative. Well, except for now, um, you're one less person with that mindset in the ECB as, you know, Draghi, he's leaving. So now she would arguably have even more power if she stayed under Lagarde. Instead, she's abandoning ship. To me, I mean, we don't know all the details, but it doesn't make a lot of sense. Is Christine Lagarde going to have a better chance of getting fiscal spending packages from government, specifically here in Berlin, than Mario Draghi did? I mean, he explicitly asked for it at the last meeting, but the Germans don't seem to, uh, don't seem to budge. No, and I don't, to, to be honest, I don't really see, the, see a change uh, there. Uh, central banks are about monetary policy, governments are about, about fiscal policy. And, and you can see the frustration uh, there over the last couple of years. Central banks know that they were the only came in town. They bought bonds, but effectively they bought, but they bought time. Um, time which could be used for structural reform and for fiscal stimulus, which has not been the case over the last couple of years. Um, I don't really think Lagarde, uh, while publicly she says that she's in favor of that, I don't think as a central bank chief you should be uh, saying a lot of stuff about fiscal policy. That's for the governments. Yeah. But governments need to act now.